My name is Kim Bentley and I'm going to be your presenter today. We don't expect you to be self-sufficient at the conclusion of today's presentation. My goal is to show you how easy doing business with Concord can be by introducing your Concord team, our rating tools, and the resources available on our website. If you have any questions, please submit them using the chat function as I'm presenting. If time allows, I'll respond during the presentation. Please note that all questions will be answered and the responses will be shared with all of you at the conclusion of our presentation. Let's begin. You might ask why agents choose to do business with Concord. First is our knowledge. Concord's team of experienced underwriters are your problem solvers. We encourage you to challenge us. What may seem like an impossible scenario to ensure Maybe something that we see on a daily basis. Never be afraid to ask. Next is our markets. The depth and breadth of our programs and carriers are unmatched, and some of our programs are exclusive to Concord. If you see an opportunity to grow your agency by finding a market for a particular exposure, we encourage you to contact your Concord underwriter. We will work with our carriers to see if we can access a program already available or to research the opportunity further to see if the program is one that Concord should consider developing further. Our resources. Our comparative online rating, plus our single sign-on access to ModernLink and other company raters are available on our website at www.cgains.com. With the single sign-on, it means that once you've logged into Concord's website, when you access ModernLink, it already knows who you are and will not require a separate username and password, a process that will streamline the quoting for you. Contact Concord first. We will find a way. Next, let me introduce you to your Concord team members, the resource at Concord that sets us apart from the competition. We'll begin with our personal lines team. At Concord, you're not tied to one personal lines underwriter. We provide you with an entire team of underwriters ready to respond to your, I need to find a market for, fill in the blank, can you help? Those types of questions we're here and ready to respond to, whether by phone, by email, by fax, if that's your preferred communication approach. In addition, each underwriter has a primary area of expertise to assist you with specific program questions or to provide guidance when an additional risk development may be needed to find coverage for your client. Let me introduce your team. On the left, we have Judy Coda. Judy is our resident liability expert. She also co-manages the dwelling program with me. Kim Sanford is our lead mobile home expert, right here. She works with you to remarket the risk if it doesn't fit into the market that you originally requested. Then we have Gail Olson. Gail is our personal lines manager. She's also our resident flood expert. So if you've got a hard to place flood risk or you need an excess flood, Gail's your resource for that one. Sue is the newest member to our personal lines team. She also co-manages the mobile home program with Kim Sanford and will help you find a home for those difficult to place mobile home risks, in addition to those that fit within our standard markets. Liz Wilson is our log home and high value home expert. And then on the end is myself, Kim Bentley. I work with Judy to help you find a home for your dwellings and your hard to place accounts. I thrive on the challenge of helping you find coverage for your client. If you understand your risk, we'll help you find a way. In addition to providing the proposal, I can help you explain to your client why they're not eligible for the policy form or endorsement options originally requested. Next, let's, let's introduce your commercial and farm team of experts. On the left, we have Gary Geller. Gary is your standard commercial underwriter and is your Amtrust, excuse me, your Amtrust expert. Sarah is your excess and surplus markets resource, and Jen is your farm and ranch expert. I encourage you to call them with risk-specific questions, program availability, and eligibility concerns. They will let you know what is required to underwrite the application so you can obtain a faster response. 
And when you combine our industry expertise with the programs and carriers we represent, choosing Concord is a smart business decision. If you wonder what you're going to do with an account, or you know you need to call in an underwriting exception from your standard markets, Concord should be your first call. We have the true specialty programs. As I mentioned earlier, it's critical for you to understand your risk before asking Concord if we have a market. We have multiple options available, especially in our personal lines, but the specifics of your account will determine how many programs we can offer. Here's an example. When Concord offers a personal lines program, we offer options for virtually all types of risks within the program. So if you contacted us and said, do you offer a dwelling program? The answer is going to be yes, of course. Let's take it one step further. Do you offer a dwelling program for a property that's in the name of a trust or an LLC? We write these all the time. One step further, do you offer a dwelling program for a property that has a lapse in coverage? For over 90 days? For over 120 days? We still have options. One step further, how about a dwelling program for a property with past claims or unrepaired damage? Call Concord. We'll find a way. If you know your risk, our experts will help you write the coverage. Let's identify a few of our niche markets. Starting with the personal lines. Dwellings. We have options for DP1, DP2, DP3. We can even consider distressed properties, past claims, vacant properties, poor credit, or other unusual factors. You have access to our underwriting specialists directly. Don't hesitate to call or email. We'll let you know what options are available. It's also helpful to know if you're price shopping the account or just trying to find a market so we don't waste your time if we can only offer a surplus lines account. Next is our mobile home. In this particular arena, there's not many mobile homes that we can't find a home for. The exception to that case is going to be the risk where the condition doesn't warrant coverage any longer, at which point we'll probably offer a liability-only policy or coverage on the contents. Again, within the mobile home program, we have top carriers and exclusive programs. We offer more coverage options than our competition. You also, again, have access to your underwriting specialists. I identified Kim and Sue. They're your resource when you're trying to find a home for your mobile home clients. The Aegis Platinum Choice 3 is exclusive to Concord and runs on an HO3 form. We also have both admitted and surplus lines options for your rental schedules, seasonals, and vacant risks. Best of all, both of these programs can be quoted online on our website at cgains.com by using the PEAK Comparative Rating Tool and through Modern Link. Continuing with the personal lines programs, we also offer log homes. This is a program exclusive to Concord and runs on an HO3 form. Protection class is not an issue. We'll write them in protection class 1 through 10. We will also consider the hand-hewn construction. Another interesting feature is that within our log home program, we have the ability to include a builder's risk endorsement. So when the construction is completed, it is not necessary to remarket the account. Contact Liz, our program expert, if you have additional questions on that option. One other note within the log homes, if this is a rental or a short-term rental log home, we will underwrite those within our dwelling market since they're not eligible to be written on an HO3 owner-occupied form. Next, we'll move on to the high-value homes. Again, this is built into our peak comparative rating tool, so this is going to take those homes uh, that fit within the programmed parameters. It will allow you to quote a home in excess of 750000 So if you click the high value home option and your home is 748000 in value, it's going to tell you there's no options available. So make certain that you start at the 750. Also, our log homes that are in excess of 749000 would also fall within this high value home category. Again, the beauty of both of these programs is that you can quote them 
online at our website using the PEAK comparative rating tool. Now let's do a quick overview of some of the commercial niche markets. The first two we're going to look at are actually available within our PEAT rating tool, and we'll get into that in more detail later in the presentation. But the Artisan Contractors is literally a two-minute, load your information, uh, obtain your proposal, upload it with money, and you're done account. Uh, if the risk is not eligible to be quoted within this program, you can contact your commercial underwriters, and they'd be happy to let you know whether, what other options we have available. We also have our vacant program. The vacant program is designed to run on commercial forms. You can do residential, commercial, or industrial. The unique thing about this program is that you have the option to write basic, broad, or special form coverage. You also have the option to do replacement cost or actual cash value. Again, when you quote within this system, you have the ability to choose the option that you would like to deliver, upload the application with the payment, and you are done. A review of some of the other niche programs that Concord has available in our commercial and farm programs. First is the oil and gas contractors. This is a Concord exclusive. It provides GL and excess coverage up to 10 million, and there are many eligible classes available. Home health care business. We have options for skilled nursing, basic care. If you want to learn more about this program, contact Sarah. The garage program. Here your target classes are heavy truck sales and service of trucks over 26,000 pounds. Again, to learn more information about this program, we have some information available on our website. And obviously, your best resource is to contact your commercial underwriters. Commercial buildings. Your target classes here would be professional offices, lessers risk, self-storage. Again, don't be afraid to contact your commercial underwriters for additional information on program options. Continuing on, we have the ability to do roofing contractors, including hot tar, torch down, and conventional shingle. Child care businesses, options for both in-home care and centers. If you have an account that you're asking us to consider and it's a home daycare on the personal line side, we will ask that you write the daycare through our ENS department so that we have control over both aspects of the exposure. Retail businesses, target classes here would be grocery stores, hardware and paint stores, sporting goods stores, automotive businesses, we have auto repair, tire dealers, auto parts stores, workers' compensation. Again, this would come back to Gary under the AmTrust program. Target classes here are beauty shops, retail and wholesale stores, and artisan contractors. And then we get to Jen's arena. In addition to the admitted markets, she also has access to write the surplus lines farm accounts. These would be your accounts that have issues with prior losses. If you have an account that you wish to have Jen take a look at, email the court application, photos, and loss runs to her for review, and she'll let you know what options she has available. Next, let's review our resources available to help you write more business. We have three ways for you to obtain a, co a quote through Concord. The first is to utilize our website. Again, that's www.cgains.com. You have access to the PEAT rating tool. You have access to Modern Link. You also have access to some raters available through United States Liability for both personal and commercial. Again, these are all self-help tools, but if you have any questions as you're using these programs, you can certainly contact a Concord underwriter. The next is to submit an application. And we're going to go through how you find this information on our website, but you can email the application to submissions at concord-ga.com. This is a valuable email address for you, as anything that you submit to that address, you will receive a confirmation email back. Then you don't need to call and confirm that we actually received it. You know because you received the responding communication. 
The third way is to simply contact an underwriter. We encourage you to call our team at 1-800-726-1611. You can listen to the prompts on the automated menu, or you can go to the Contact Us area on our website for a complete staff directory with extensions and email addresses. Again, never be afraid to contact an underwriter. Don't expect you to remember everything that we've presented today, and if you need a quick prompt, any one of us is more than happy to assist you. We've also introduced our first quote by phone option, and this is available exclusive, exclusively for the workers' compensation program available through Amtrust. You can contact 1-800-303-9701 to learn more about this program. I encourage you to give that a try if you have not done so. It's a quick, easy way to find out what the pricing would be for your client. Next is our website. Again, I've said the address over and over and over, but it's www.cgains.com. If you've successfully entered the address, this is the screen that you should see. We're going to move around the screen, and I'm just going to identify a few of the highlights. The first and most important is the login screen, and you'll see that's surrounded here by red. It's important that you log into the website when you come in so that you have full access to all of the resources within the website. Some of them are password prohibited so that those that are not appointed with Concord cannot access the rating, the underwriting, or the program options that Concord has available. Your login information, is, the login name, is going to be your email address. So it's important that if you change your email address that we are notified so we can update your login information since communications will go back to you at that email address and we want to make certain that it's valid for you. The password is the number or word that you have assigned to the account. And if you don't recall what your uh, password is, come down here into the left corner, type in your email address and click retrieve password. It will email it to the email address that you've entered. If you've entered an email address that the system does not recognize, it'll tell you that you don't currently have an account. Before you register for a new account, please contact Concord and confirm that we don't have you in the, in the system under an old or expired email. Next is the PEAT Comparative Rater. If from this screen you were to choose PEAT, the system would prompt you to log in and then take you directly to the PEAT rating program. The preferred approach, of course, is to log in first and then choose PEAT from within. But again, the PEAT icon is here and available for your use. Company rating tools. If you contact a Concord underwriter and you want to know how to access a particular program or to see if there's an online rating tool, you may hear us refer to the word raters in blue in the upper right corner. This is what we're referring to. You can see it from any screen within the website. It's often the easiest one to direct you with. So again, the word Raiders in blue will take you to our company rating tools. Program information and forms. From this login screen, it's available by text up at the top of the screen. Later in the presentation, I'll show you how you've got a couple of different ways to access these same divisions. These are the top four at Concord. You have the commercial ENS. Standard Commercial, Personal Lines, and Farm and Ranch. I'll also have access to the premium financing programs within this. The last and critically important is the Make a Payment option. Notice that this particular option is available from the login screen and will not require that you are logged into the website. Therefore, you can use this option as can your client. So if your client needs to post a payment to save their account because it's the last day that a payment will be accepted, they can go to www.cgains.com and they can follow the prompts to successfully upload their payment. You as their agent have the option to contact us on the next business day and confirm that that payment was successfully received. We also have up in the right the contact us information. I've referred to that a couple of times. It's the complete staff directory along with the emails and the extensions, and it breaks down all of the staff by department. So if you're looking for a particular person or you've received email communication and you want to see what their role is within Concord, 
to contact us. We'll answer that information for you. This particular screen will pop up if you have attempted to access a password protected screen within Concord's website. The make a payment and the contact us are the two options on the previous slide that do not require password access. Everything else is going to prop this screen if you have not successfully logged in. Again, just because this box here pops up does not mean that you need to register as a new user. Type in your username and your password and log in. If you can't remember it, type in your email and click retrieve password. Before you sign up as a new user, please contact Concord and confirm that we just don't have an invalid email address for you. If, however, you wish to add a CSR, or Jessica, I know you're on the line today, if you've got a new agent or you've got a new CSR and you want to get them access to the website, you could type in, fill, fill in the prompts, put in the agency number, followed by the rest of the questions that they're going to answer, and it will add that person to the website. The critical thing is that you also email help at concord-ga.com to request access to, Ameri or to American Modern's Modern Link system, since if you don't do this, you won't have access to that program. It requires a separate step on our behalf, so the single sign-on recognizes the new user. Once you've successfully logged into Concord's website, it will bring you to the dashboard page. Things you will see on the dashboard page. Right here in the notes area, you'll see any current promotions we have going on, if we've made any enhancements within the PEAT program. You'll see here, I know many of you are playing along with the Gridiron Classic, our football pool, our pick and pool. We also have information on company changes. And any moratoriums that might be in place. As you all remember last year, we had lots of flood moratoriums. This year we've had issues with fires. So if you're looking to see if one of our carriers has issued a moratorium and we're not taking new business, this would be the place to check. And it will pop up every time you log into the website and you land on the dashboard page. Another thing to keep in mind is that a moratorium is always going to be in play if an active fire or an active flood event has been declared. So contact your Concord underwriter if you know that your community has been affected and you want to know if your binding is restricted. Kristen, do we have any questions that have come in so far? Okay. Let's move on then to the next session, or the next part of the presentation, I should say. We're going to go to the Raiders page of Concord's website. But before we go, let me remind you that you always have the option to return to the dashboard page by clicking the Return to Dashboard option on any other screen within the website. And you'll see that as we go through some of the other screens. Okay, if you click the word Raiders in blue, or if you click the word Raiders down the right-hand menu on the dashboard page, this is the screen that it's going to bring you to. I want to show you how, a couple, how to access a couple of the rating programs and how to retrieve the quotes within those programs. So let's start by choosing PEAT. When you choose PEAT, this is going to be the screen that pops up. And obviously, it's going to pop up on full screen. We've minimized it for the purpose of this demonstration. What you do to launch the program, assuming that you're trying to start a new quote, is you're going to click Program Selection. If you are not logged in and you clicked Raiders from the login screen, the login reminder will come up. Again, don't register. Don't assume we don't know who you are, even if it's been two years since you've logged in. We've got you in the system. All you need to do is type in your email address and password or retrieve it. If you need it reset because you can't make it work, contact Concord. We can reset it and you can start all over. Okay, once you're within Pete, the next goal is to choose the state. From the drop-down menu, you'll see all the programs that we have available within PEAT. You want to make certain that the state is correctly chosen. So if you are writing in a border state, and this is a North Dakota risk, or this is a Minnesota risk, and your agency is licensed to write in those states, if you choose South Dakota from the drop-down menu, you're not going to be able to rate the risk. The red box here is also important. 
If the risk doesn't fit into Pete, it doesn't mean that we don't have an option. You need to give us a call and we'll point you in the right direction. Pete can only handle a certain, uh, certain char characteristics within a risk. If it's got a lot of issues, it's going to be something that's going to come to us and we're going to manually handle the account. We've chosen the state of South Dakota, since all of you are in South Dakota today. These are the six programs that are available, and you have access to all of them. We have the contractor program, which we referenced back on the commercial slide. Again, this is your artisan contractors. These are not the only contractors that we can write, but these are the ones that you have the ability to quote and upload all by yourself. We also have the dwelling program. We have the high value homeowners, which again we talked about is greater than 750. We have the log home, which is less than 750. We have our mobile and manufactured home. Within the mobile and manufactured program also comes the modular. So anything that was built off site and brought to the premises is going to fall within our mobile manufactured home program. The last is the vacant program. Again, this was on the commercial slide. The vacant program is the one that runs on commercial forms and offers you the basic, broad, or special, also has the options available to do actual cash value or replacement costs. Now, if it's a regular house and you're just looking for DP1 coverage on a vacant home, that's going to be done within our dwelling program. Let me show you how that works. You're going to choose the dwelling program. And it's going to bring up the first screen of data entry. The occupancy here is critically important. Within the drop-down, you're going to find the options of owner, rental, seasonal, vacant, renovation, builder's risk, short-term rental. One thing to note is that if your risk is not going to be occupied at the point that you are binding the account and you are not writing a vacant, a seasonal, or a short-term rental, the risk cannot be bound without prior Concord approval. We cannot write a rental risk. We cannot write an owner-occupied risk if there is no occupant at the point that we are binding the coverage. It requires an underwriting override and it requires careful underwriting approach. If the account is vacant, there's significant coverage restrictions that come into play. As you complete your application, if the risk is eligible to be quoted by Pete, you have three options. From the quote screen, you have the option to save for 90 days. You also have the option to continue and complete the application, at which point you can submit the application to Concord unbound or submit the application to Concord bound. The screen will tell you what your options are. And if it's telling you that the account has to come to Concord unbound, it means there's issues and there's going to be an underwriting override that's going to be required before we can confirm that the risk is eligible for the price that you quoted. If you have any questions regarding a quote that you've delivered and you wonder if it's ultimately going to be eligible, I encourage you to contact your Concord underwriter. The other thing to note is that photos speak volumes. So if you are submitting an account to Concord and it has to come through unbound, my recommendation is that you include your supporting documentation. If we've had repair issues or if we've had a fire claim, include your fire report. Confirm that the damage has been repaired. Include photos if they've been canceled due to underwriting conditions. Anything you can add to the submission expedites the response and assures that we've got the risk in the proper program. The other option is that it will come through bound. If it comes through bound, you're done until you get your request from the underwriter. You may need to provide photos. You may need to provide proof of prior coverage. We may be asking for a replacement cost estimator if the account is written on a replacement cost loss settlement. These issues are outlined at the end of your application. You'll know what documentation is required. However, if you don't attach it, we will remind you that this documentation is required to complete the application. When you have successfully submitted an application, whether it be bound or unbound, you will receive a confirmation email back from Concord with a complete copy of what's been transmitted. 
The other is if the risk is ineligible to be rated by PEAT, you'll be given, instead of a rate, a choice to submit the con to complete the application and submit to Concord for pricing. These are going to be your scenarios where they've had an extended lapse in coverage, or they've got unrepaired damage, or they've got multiple losses, or maybe it's a combination of all the above. Make certain that when you're completing the application that you are using accurate information since the answers that you enter may drive the, the uh, program that is offered by Pete. So if you indicate that the risk is in poor condition because you haven't seen it and you're going to assume the worst, it may only offer you a DP1, but when you drive by and you realize that this is a nice looking property, we may have been able to offer a DP2 or a DP3. But the program isn't going to tell you that the condition is driving the ultimate uh, program displayed to you. So again, if you don't know the answers to the questions, I encourage you to interview your client before you deliver the proposal to confirm that the information provided is the best that Concord has to offer. Any questions, Kristen, before we move on? No, I think we're still good. Okay. Continuing on, once you've successfully saved a quote, you can go back into Pete, and again, this time instead of the program selection, we're going to search. When you click search, it's going to bring up this screen. We don't want to enter any information here in the middle. All we want to do is click the gold box to search again. By clicking this search option, it will display all quotes completed by the individual user. This is very important for those of you with more than one person registered on the website. To use the example here at Concord, if I quoted John Doe's account and I saved it in Pete, Kristen, if she's logged in as herself, will not see my quote. It will look like the quote was not saved. In order to see what's been quoted or what's been submitted by me, you have to be logged in as me. So if you can't find it in the system because the agent is out of the office or you're covering for another office and you don't have login information for that agent, contact us and we can help you get access so that you can service the client in their absence. Once you click search, it's going to pull up all quotes submitted and rated within Pete in the last 90 days. In this particular scenario, when you see the word edit in blue, what that's telling you is that that account has been rated and not submitted to Concord. So before you contact us to find out whether or not we've approved an application or whether or not we've issued the new policy, it's important that you go in and search and confirm that it's not still hanging out here as a quote that's yet to be submitted. Now the other way you're going to know whether or not you've submitted it is you will have a confirmation email back to us indicating that the account has come through bound or unbound. Once it has been submitted, you will have no edit option. It can no longer be changed without contacting Concord directly. So if you notice when reviewing that application that there's an error, forward back the email to us with a copy of the application and the corrections that need to be made. So we can confirm that the underwriter who's reviewing the account, if it comes in unbound, or the processors who will be issuing the policy have the correct information to complete the request. Let's go back to the Raiders page again. This time we're going to review Modern Link. Again, your access is up here in the corner, and when you click the Modern Link user sign on access, it's going to bring up the Modern Link homepage. To start a new quote, you're going to need to make certain, hang on just a second here. Back up, we're going we're gonna to show you what happens if you click Modern Link and you're not logged in. Again, you're going to get the prompt. The message is slightly different if we do not have you set up with Modern Link access. It will tell you to contact Concord regarding your single sign-on. That message means that you are successfully logged into Concord's website, but we have not given you access to the Modern Link program. We can do that for you. Um, it generally takes a 24-hour period from the point that we request the access, but it's something that we can get quoted for you while you're unable to handle it yourself. So any questions with that, if you get a message, contact Concord. Sometimes it's just a technical glitch. Okay. 
Next, on to the home page. When you hit the, the modern link sign on page, or the home page I should say, the first number you're going to see here should be Concord's number. It should be 021335. If it does not populate for you, you can click the select and it will pop the number in for you. If you put your subproducer number here, it's going to tell you you don't have access to any of the programs. The second number that's required is your subproducer number. That's your Concord assigned 90 number. We don't expect that you have this memorized, though some of you do. If you don't know it, you can click Select, and it will pre-populate this field for you. If it does not, contact Concord, and any one of our uh, employees here can look up that number for you so you can complete the quote. Again, the effective date is important. If you're not looking to bind the account until November 15th, you don't want to have an October 1st date in there, since if there's any filing changes or rating changes, not going to be reflected within your proposal. The next thing is going to be your rating zip code. This is not the mail address. This is the location of your risk. This is what's going to drive your program options and it's going to pre-populate the state. From the drop-down, you'll see you have access to the dwelling, the manufactured home, the motorcycle, the watercraft. There's also the collector vehicle. It just didn't pop in on this drop-down menu. We're going to use the dwelling program again for ease and showing you how the quoting process works. Once you choose the program, it's going to bring you into the basic information screen. Again, here I encourage you to not guess. Make certain that the information you are entering is correct for the risk since it is ultimately going to drive the program options that you see and the eligibility to find the account. From this screen, we're not actually going to go all the way through the process of quoting and issuing a policy, but I do want to show you how an account is saved and how you can retrieve it. From any screen, any completed screen within the Modern Link system, you can click Save up here in this olive green navigation bar. And if you've successfully saved it, you'll see off on the right-hand side the quote ID. Once you have the quote ID, when you go out of the account and come back in, instead of landing on the home page, you can choose the tab Quotes and Policies and type in that quote number here, which will bring you back into the account. Now, if you don't remember the, the quote number, you can always do the advanced search. And here, less is more. So at the top of the advanced search screen, you will need to enter the last name of your client, and then in the section down below, you can enter the first name of your client. Uh, you can also enter your subproducer number, which will narrow the search if you've got someone like Joe Jones or Howard Johnson, and maybe you've got more than one of those names and you want to make the search go a little faster. But do not fill in every single field since it's searching for that data specifically as you've entered it. So if you have a period where you did not have one in the quote, it will not retrieve the application. Kristen, do we have any questions as we're going through? Um, Megan does have a question. If we do a standalone ATV policy, um, or can you, can you do a standalone ATV policy such as a Ranger side-by-side? -side? That's an excellent question, Megan. In, in case you didn't hear the question, Megan wants to know if we can do a standalone ATV policy. That brings a, uh, an important point to light. At Concord, all of our programs are standalone programs. We do not require any supporting business to write these. The purpose of our programs here at Concord is to round out your standard lines options. So if you have an ATV or you have a jet ski or you have uh, a rental dwelling or you have a garage on a secondary location that's storing some of their contents, and that's the only thing you need us to provide, we can do that. There is no supporting business requirement, not even with our liability policies. All we ask is that they carry the required underlying policies to qualify for the umbrella, but we do not have to provide them. Any other questions? All right, back again to the search. We've typed in our quote number brings us right back into the quote. One more thing I want to show you when you come back into your quote, back to the same thing I showed you in Pete with the blue edit or the no blue edit. 
in Modern Link, when you pull up a quote, your status is listed on the right-hand side. And the example we've used here today says quote status is new. It's because it was a new quote that we were loading in. But some of the options that you're going to see on that screen are going to be rated, submitted to GA, saved but not rated. If an account says saved but not rated, it means you've made a change in one of those first few screens that is ultimately going to change the rate for that client. You want to go back to the quote screen again and rate it one more time before you continue to deliver that quote. If an account says it's been submitted to GA, what that means is that you have requested the bind on the account and it has been submitted to a Concord underwriter for review. If it's a mobile home risk, it means either Kim Stanford or Sue will be reviewing it and getting back to you to let you know whether or not we have the ability to bind the account. The nice thing about using Concord's website is that if you submit an application in PEAT or in Modern Link and it's not eligible for the program that you have requested, we have the ability to remarket the account for you. Sometimes we'll move an account from Modern Link to Aegis or from Aegis to our surplus lines market. Um, we have the ability, once we have that information, to assure that we find a home for your client. And ultimately, it's up to you as the agent to let us know whether or not they accept that option. But if an account says submitted to GA, you have requested the bind, and we will either issue the policy for you with the underwriting override if we feel it's eligible, or we will contact you with an alternate proposal. Again, do not use the submit to GA option if you are only wondering if we can write the account. Contact your Concord underwriter if you have questions. Any questions on that one, Kristen? Okay. Again, there's our quote status. Next way to do business with Concord is to email an application. You can do this with the application form that you have in your system. We're also going to show you how to find the program specific applications within our website. Some of the carriers require their application before any coverage can be bound. So we encourage you to use the appropriate application forms or to contact your underwriter to find out if the company has a specific form before you just take the time to fill out an accord application and find out you have to start over again if they choose to proceed. Okay, we're going to again start with personal lines. And yes, I'm biased because I'm a personal lines underwriter. Again, from this, we have this navigation bar across the top that's available from the Raiders page, from the Contact Us page, from the Login page, also from the dashboard. You can also use that navigation bar that was on the right-hand side with all the pretty pictures. The end result is the same. By clicking Personal Lines, it's going to bring you to the map of all the states that we have programs available. Today we're going to use the state of South Dakota, but if you were writing in one of the border states because they had a seasonal in Minnesota or they had some hunting land up in North Dakota, you want to make certain you choose the state where your risk is located. You want to make certain that your agency as well as your agent is licensed to do business in that state before you submit an application there. Again, choose the state of South Dakota. And here is the complete high-level categories that Concord has available in our personal lines division. Now, just because something doesn't appear in this list doesn't mean we may not have an option. Give us a call, talk to us about it, we'll let you know what we need. We do have some oddball things like contents in a mini storage or high values in the marine schedules that we do through specialized markets and we don't have them listed in a high level category. Sticking with uh, our personal lines theme, we're going to go to the program that does not have a PEAT or a modern link rating option. We're going to go with the umbrella and liability policies, back to Judy's area of expertise. When you click on that option, you're going to see that we have programs available through United States Liability and through Hudson. And you'll see that the applications are out here depending on the particular exposure that you're looking to ensure. Now, if we were looking at doing a comprehensive personal liability policy where the trust is the owner of the property, you would submit this application and Judy would let you know that we also need the trust supplemental. So if she's referencing a supplemental application form, you might find that that's out here on the website. We may also direct you to go to our website by clicking Personal Lines, South Dakota, Umbrella, United States Liability, CPL. 
when we give you those directions, this is what we're referring to. We're trying to assist you so you can self-help, but you can always give us a call and we will walk you through where to find it. On a really bad day, you can call us and say, I can't figure it out. Will you please just email it? And we would be more than happy to accommodate that request as well. Okay, next we're going to go on to the commercial excess and surplus. You notice the map got a lot smaller when you click the ENF department. Again, you have the same options. If you're licensed in the border states, you have the ability to do it. But for today's presentation, we're going to go to South Dakota. This screen, again, more options that are going to be available in the viewing window for today. So if you want to see what carriers we represent for a particular program, you could choose that category and then go within and you'll see marketing materials, you'll see underwriting guides, you'll see applications. Again, there's more information than we're going to be able to see on the screen, so I'll just give you an example here. We'll go to the contractors. Now, we know we can do them within PEAT, but PEAT is only going to do the defined contractors that are within the drop-down menu. So this is going to cover those that are going to require some additional handling. Again, you can see it cuts off here at the bottom. There are many more carriers below this one. So we've got Nautilus, we've got United States Liability, we've got Western World. United States Liability does have on the Raider screen some of the online rating tools. So you can take a peek on the Raider screen and see if the option is available to quote the particular account. More often than not, you're going to want to go to the category and submit the appropriate application. If you don't know where to begin, your resource for this program is SARA. Next on to the standard commercial. Again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to click standard commercial, South Dakota, and here's your standard commercial programs. These would be done through Gary. So if you have questions on a particular program, you can come out here. You could browse the material available under each of these categories, or you could do it the easy way and contact Gary, and, and he could tell you where, uh, where to look. We'll choose the BOP category on this one, and you'll see that there are marketing materials available here if you want something uh, polished to present to your client as you're trying to sell the program, check the website and see if we've got materials that can assist you with that. We also have the payment options available. We have uh, supplemental applications. So in addition to your court application, there may be additional forms required. Again, if you have any questions, Gary is your resident expert on that one. Last but not least is our farm and ranch programs. Again, let's choose Farm and Ranch, State of South Dakota, and here we go. We've got our Farm Auto, Equine, Farm Package, Farm Liability, Animal Mortality. If there's any promotions going on, there may be information under that tab as well. Today we're going to choose the Farm Package option. Under here you'll see we've got American Reliable, we've got Travelers, we've got Rain and Hail. If you've got a question about whether or not an account is going to fit, contact Jen and she'll point you in the right direction. But the surplus lines account, an Accord app with loss runs and photos is going to be sufficient to get her started. Again, this, when you're submitting an application, you want to email it to submissions at concord-ga.com because you'll receive a confirmation when your application is received and we'll be able to track it within the office. Not that you can't email it to an individual underwriter, but if that underwriter is out, no one else is going to be able to access it in their absence. The last option is the one I've referenced all the way through. Contact an underwriter. Call us or email us. We're here to help you write more business. Never be afraid to call. If you call six times in a morning, it's a good day for us at Concord. Don't ever hesitate, and it doesn't matter if you hang up the phone and you realize you have one more question. Choose your underwriter. Choose a different underwriter if you're embarrassed that you're calling again, but please call. Okay, next thing we want to make certain that we spend just a little bit of time on is payments. And payments matter because the accounts, or the companies I should say, are tightening. And when payments don't come in on time, sometimes we don't get the option to reinstate. So we want to go through a couple of the automated options that you have to post payments when your client walks in in the final hour and you need to make certain that that account gets paid. The first is the one that we referenced before the make a payment option available on the home page of Concord's website. No login is required. 
and we can do payments for any Concord build policy, and it could be down payments or installment payments. It can be the insured's account or it can be your agency account. It will walk you through and ask for the appropriate account information. One thing to note here is that under the EFT payments, there is no additional charge other than the normal installment fee that would have already been included on the billing statement. For credit card payments, we are using an outside vendor. Therefore, additional fees will still apply on those credit card payments. And this is in addition to any installment fee and any balance due with that payment. Um, as you go through the program, and we'll show you, you will see the fee identified. And you'll have to indicate that you accept that fee. American Modern Policy payments are also able to be made through Modern Link. So we're going to show you both of these options. When you click the Make a Payment option for the Concord policies, you will fill in the quote number. If you're looking at the billing statement, you can fill in the account number, but it's not required. You do need to fill in the name, the address, the zip code, and the email address for the person remitting the payment. This is critical because you will receive an automated response that we've received your payment. If the email address is not present, you're not going to know if there was an issue and it's not going to let you submit. Down at the bottom, you're going to choose whether this payment amount is going to be EFT or whether it's going to be credit card. If you're doing EFT, it is going to ask you for your bank information, routing number, the type of account, any comments that you want to make regarding this. And then you're going to agree that you understand this is going to be an EFT payment, and you're going to submit it. If you are doing a credit card payment, it is going to give you the payment that you indicated on that first screen, and it is going to identify the delivery fee. This will change depending on the amount of your payment. This counts whether it's a debit card or a credit card. So we encourage you to use the EFT information to pull the payment rather than using a debit card. Again, if it's the only way to save the account, the options may be better to pay the fee than to have to rewrite it into a surplus lines market because we don't have any other uh, admitted market to offer once it's left. Again, you'll complete your credit card information and submit. If we are making a payment on a modern link policy, and modern link policies are always all numbers, there are no letters in a modern link policy number. You will go hit the Modern Link user sign-on, whether from the dashboard page or from the Raiders page. And instead of being on the home page to start a new quote, we're going to click Quotes and Policies. Then you're going to click the Payment Center. And after you enter the policy number, the system is going to tell you the minimum amount due. And you'll need to indicate whether or not the payment is coming from your agency or from your customer. Again, this is critical because if the information is entered incorrectly, we need to know whose account information was originally there. The system will request contact information, so if there is a problem, we know who to contact regarding the payment. Last but not least, we want to introduce you to Barb Rodriguez. Barb is your claims advocate at Concord. She's a, a, a value added when you're doing business with us because she's your leading, your, my tongue is tired, it's been a long hour. Um, she is your liaison between the customer and the company. If you need to know who the adjuster is assigned to the account, if you need to know whether or not they visited the client, what the status is of the payment, or where to begin with filing the claim, contact Barb and she can assist you. If you need to file an Accord loss notice, email it to claims at concord-ga.com and you will receive a confirmation email that we have received it. Especially if your town has been hit by a cat loss, this is an easy way to keep track of the ones that have been sent in and the ones that still need to come in. Again, if you're not certain whether or not the notice has been forwarded to us, you can always contact Barb and she's able to let you know what we have. If you have any questions, Phone number here is our Concord number, 1-800-726-1611, option 7.